When have they lost three straight? You'd have to go back to 1993. Germany's in green. They take the kickoff. USA is in white. It's Magul sending it up there just over Casey Murphy. That's blocked. Buell again. Left side. It falls to Magul. Looking, shooting, went near post. And trying to beat Casey Murphy. Three in the wide channel, but it's Magul's movement out of midfield that so often causes problems for teams. They drag over Andy Sullivan. Now your six is out of position, and your center backs can't slide and step in time to get any pressure on this shot. And it's really just a matter of Magul pulling that and not putting it on frame to test Murphy. But that's a the press is something that the U.S. does normally well, but not in the last two games. Players spoke about that yesterday. Ball played into space. Morgan and Smith are up at Pew. To the right. Played in and saved by Frooms. Going since that spell of possession from Germany, but here came the U.S. Just a long direct ball that's flicked on Balenzi Haran, and Alex Morgan does well. Just back to goal, clean it up, allow for someone that's facing the field that sees everything, and that's Rose Lavelle. She picks out Sophia Smith, and we think we know how it's going to end, but she cuts off her own angle here as she goes away from goal and makes it easy for Frooms to. They've got numbers four, USA scrambling back. Ball needed to be better, it goes to Magoon instead, not the intended target. U.S. on the recovery. Smith, nice, on the trickery. To Fox. Emily Fox with the cross, headed up. Second ball, cleared by Pop. U.S. will send it in off a deflection. Safe play by Frooms. U.S. pressing, winning the ball. Hugh has help. Try to play it across, it's deflected. That took too long. Knock Chicago out of the playoffs, you know, highlighted some of some of the issues that the U.S. has in that. Ooh, well, playing it in, that net was open. U.S. is giving up a lot of room here, last few times up the field. Well, it's pop out of midfield. She steps in, wins the heavy touch from Sofia Huerta. Now she continues her movement in behind. She's onside because Germa had absorbed the space, and Murphy reads it well, comes off her line, just put enough pressure on pop to make her glance that wide of the net. Oh, Nuskin gives it away. Here's the U.S. with Lavelle leading it. Smith over the bar. Ball out by Nuskin. Pew takes a couple touches to clean it up and then finds a free player in Rose Lavelle waiting for that run to come. The overlap from Sophia Smith, but just falling away from this. Can't get it driven on the ground. Haran, outside the circle, now inside, moving it. Lovell, 16 and white. Huerta, free to cross. Delivers, header. It was there for Lindsay Haran. Field, you see the time and space that Huerta has in this right channel, and you're thinking this is going to be picked out of the back of the net by Germany. Just well done by Rose Lovell to hold that long enough for the advancement of Huerta, and then the string run of Haran. She said she wants to get in the 18-yard box. She's doing it in club, and she wants to do more of it for country. Well, here comes the run, and just too much action on that. Trying to get into this near A lot of Cook settles. Drives it long. Back down by Haran. Heavy touch. Lavelle kept it in. What a move there. Lavelle catching up. Took save. And in a second, what is that? U.S. goal, or not. Looked like it had crossed the line. I got to see this myself. I know, pure art. I mean, just draws in the defender, sizes her up, nutmegs her, tries to glide that one across Ooh. the frame of goal, and the deflection goes to Lindsay Aran. And she's just trying to get depth inside the 18-yard box. Little deflection, and that bounces off the goal line. Does not look like it's the whole ball. Nope. Don't have goal line technology confirmed one way or another, but certainly looks like that one does stay out. That touch blocked by Goma. Outlet pass to the left. Morgan into space. Flag stays down. U.S. on the attack. Chance saved by Broom. Lone striker above it. She runs that channel and now just uses the momentum of the defender to her advantage. Cuts across her. Pop is number 11 for Germany. 
She's making her move. Played short off the trading ground of Magoo. And fortunately for the U.S., she was off target because it looked like that was a surprise. And that might be the last kick, Allie, of this half. And it's a good look for Magoo. Not enough pressure on there, but she skims it. Good first half for them, despite that first opening five minutes or so. Yeah, it's wide open here from Fort Lauderdale. Second half after this halftime break. Come back with us. But it's 1v2 at the moment. Three more Germany attackers on the move. Joining the group. Buell pushing it forward. Kumbiger is in. Saved by Murphy. Buell again. Shooting. At the post and in. Germany has scored. one nothing for Germany. And Hoggle is in. That's going to be one of the changes for the Germans. Latvine out, Uberdorf in, as we see the U.S. making changes, too. All right, let's get all of these subs for you as quickly and as best we can, but Pop is out. Frygon turning, finding Magool. Germany with five in the attack here. Magool setting one up there. Clear the right to Chicago, who sent it over. And it's well done by Germany. They go in to go out. It's number 10, Freigong, that releases that pass to Magul. And now she's got the depth in the box at the backyard. Excuse me, the back post. Dunn reads it, but it's a poor clearance and actually puts his right back into the path of German Hoggle. But the quick reaction doesn't allow her to make it. was Lavelle who came out, Fox and Sullivan. And now it's Klein Harna who will leave. Looks like Nicole and Yomi will come in and Yomi started the last game against France. He was ready. 72nd minute. Up for grabs in the middle. Booms came out. Didn't get it. But the ball was over the bar anyway. Sophia Smith and Mal Pugh. Let's see. Looks like they're both coming out. And right down to. Yeah, and very different profile of players with Rodman coming in and Rapino. Rapino wants the ball at her feet. Well, we know who's going to take the free kicks now. With Rapino in, here's Kumbigel on the right. Play it across, head in, tip, double the bar by Murphy, robbing Frygong. U.S. is still in it, thanks to Murphy. Yeah, it's a good save from her. Here comes Germany. They release this near side. Again, there's space for Krumbigel, and she bombs to play the early ball, trying to bend that one in behind the back line, picks out her target in Frygong. It's an excellent service, right on the money. Frygong connects well with it. Casey Murphy slides across, gets set, and then tips that one over. Good save by her. And not an easy task to hold the ball up against those center backs. Hoggles pass to the left. Wow. That time it looked like it was on frame. There's the Voss Tecklenburg has brought in, and they've had an impact on the game. Krum Beagle being one of them, and since the insertion of Hoggle, she's been bright as well. She plays that ball out wide, and then just continues her run into that open seam as the United States has to drop back and absorb where this ball is, get their line set inside the 18-yard box. The depth isn't there from the United States to pick up that player in Hoggle, who continued her run. And on her favorite left foot, that and Horan is going to be coming out for Sanchez. And Brand is going to be coming into the game. And it's Buell who's coming out. That one's blocked. Falls to Morgan. Into the middle. That's intercepted. Dawson Block, Morgan, kept it in. Oh, shot in the goal, it's tied. Rapino. Well, the impress the United States, the counter press in this situation is what ultimately gets the United States freed up inside the 18-yard box. Alex Morgan and just closes in on that, gets a deflection, and then picks out the delayed run of Megan Rapino, who's joining in. Here it is, the lengthy touch. Alex Morgan drives in on it and then picks out 
a perfect pass and finds Megan Rapino. We talk about the injection of youth into this team. Well, it's two veterans getting the job done and tying this game. In the circle, blocked, foul on the U.S. Quick restart from Uberdorf. Well done. Braun on the left, in the box, has an angle. In front, Kuminga, 2-1 Germany. play by Orbador. She puts her hands on it. It's the quick restart, and this is the pace of Brand. Not only does she get the edge on Alana Cook, but she also bodies her off, holds her off that pressure, and lays a perfect ball across that back line of the United States, who is still trying to recover and get back into position, and then it's just the easy put away from Krim Beagle, who gambled with her partner and arrived in the box to put Germany up 2-1. I mean... The United States is going to be holding their head over this one. I think lack of final product in the final third is the first thing that jumps out. And, and you start to look at the United States and how they've gone about it. What that style of play looks like. Where is the freedom? Who has the freedom? Who is going to hold down the fort defensively and provide that solidity in the center of the park? This is a big win for Germany, and you could say a big loss, too, for the U.S., not used to losing, as we said.